we have been asked by a particular campaign to take certain action regarding voter registration in Virginia. To review the applications again of the 16,000 individuals that registrars have already deemed eligible just because they submitted an application through the VPC would not only threaten to disenfranchise those qualified voters, but would also undermine the trust and authority that we have instilled in our local registrars. Good morning. Members of the Virginia State Conference and NAACP, please stand. Mr. Chair, make no mistake. The NAACP sees this challenge to our voter registration program as the latest attempt to bully and intimidate potential voters. We have received these challenges with alarm and have not seen anything comparable to these challenges since the poll tax was invalidated by the United States Supreme Court in Harper versus the Virginia State Board of Elections in 1966. Our democracy is strongest when every citizen participates, and the Voter Participation Center's work is essential to increasing participation. You have the power to not turn back the clock on our voting rights. Don't carry us back to old Virginia. Nothing in the Virginia Code or the SBE regulations would support their requests, and this is nothing more than an attempt to undercut the group's legitimate efforts to help unregistered citizens register to vote. I wouldn't be here without the right to vote. Let's, let's just be honest. In a scheme by anybody, as an individual, as a group, as a city, as a state, as a nation, to take that right away by hook or crook, I have sworn to not let that happen. The board's mission should be to broaden the franchise to the greatest extent possible and not to erect unnecessary barriers to the right to vote. We strongly urge that the attorney general not be asked to investigate. We also strongly urge that the board not undertake a separate investigation of these 16,000 people who have already submitted these uh, forms at the, at, with the help of BPC. Um, I see no reason for this investigation based on the evidence that's been provided to us. Is there a motion for, um, for an investigation by the Attorney General? Hearing no motion, um, we move on to the next item on the agenda. <laughs>